I think it's one thing to believe in an ideology and say, look, we don't want any other language, but a totally different thing to deny individuals their right to learn what they want. நடக்கும் <laughs> the situation that is prevailing in the state of uh, tamil nadu there is uh, no hatred against hindi or hindi speaking people tamil nadu is a harmonious state no karala divas is celebrated no tamil dinner divas is celebrated no telugu divas but hindi divas is absolutely imposed on people who don't even know hindi actually this this kind of uh, uh, divisive politics nimala sitaraman ji should definitely stop watching news epicenter with me maria shakil a sharp political debate on linguistic identities has historically created a divide between the north and south becoming regular political flashpoints particularly ahead of elections the latest storm has erupted over an exclusive interview i had with finance minister nirmala sitaraman in chennai highlighting the charges from many southern parties that the central government is imposing hindi she called language politics unacceptable stating that a language can be respected without insulting another she claimed that even today a student who is learning hindi and sanskrit in tamil nadu is denied scholarships and fellowships even if they come as toppers the finance minister called language politics a bit to the right to learn this comes in the wake of the opposition to hindi divas where the union government once again highlighted that the promotion of hindi is not taking place at the cost of local languages but the opposition is adamant that the bjp through multiple avenues from education to government programs to even road signages campaigns to impose the language in non hindi states so is this outrage purely to make a political point before i get the panel here's what finance minister had to say You have recently said that when you were in college here there were violent protests happening against Hindi in the students who were opting for say Hindi or Sanskrit they were not eligible for scholarships by the government a lot has changed since then has it i'm asking you <laughs> very difficult to believe then how do you view this entire language debate I think it's one thing to believe in an ideology and say look we don't want any other language but a totally different thing to deny individuals learn what they want ஒரு தனி நபருடைய அதிகாரத்தை பறிக்கிறதுக்கு யாருக்கும் உரிமை இல்லை என்ன கொள்கையா இருந்தாலும் நான் சொன்னது நிஜம் நான் அனுபவிச்சது நிஜம் அந்த அனுபவிச்சது தான் நான் எடுத்து சொன்னேன் நான் படிச்சுட்டு இருந்த காலத்தில் ஹிந்தியோ சம்ஸ்கிருதமோ படிக்கிறதுக்கு நீங்கள் முயற்சி பண்ணிங்கன்னா டெஃபினட்டாக அவங்கள நானா விதத்தில் உங்களுக்கு கிரிட்டிசிசம் வரும் தெருவில் நடக்கும்போதே கண்டபடிக்கு கீழ்த்தரமாக பேசினதெல்லாம் என் காதல் நல்லா இன்றைக்கும் ஒதுக்கி ஒலிக்குது இன்றைக்கும் அண்ட் லெட் மீ சே திஸ் இன் இங்கிலீஷ் மரியா பிகாஸ் யூர் கொஸ்டின் ஆஸ்ட் தேட் ஸ்காலர்ஷிப்ஸ் ஆர் டினைட் டு ஸ்டூடெண்ட்ஸ் ஹூ லேர்ன் ஹிந்தி அண்ட் சான்ஸ்கிரித் ஈவன் டுடே ஐ சேலஞ்ச் நான் தப்பு சொல்கிறேன்னா நீங்கள் யாரோ ஒருத்தர் எழுந்து என்ன உடனே அம்மா வாய மூடு தப்பு சொல்கிறேன் நீ சொல்லுங்கள் இன்றைக்கும் தமிழ் தவிர சன்ஸ்கிரிட்டோ இல்லை ஹிந்தியோ படிக்கிற பிள்ளைங்களுக்கு ஸ்டேட் லெவல் ரேங்கிங்கில் முதலாவதோ ரெண்டாவதோ மூணாவதோ அஞ்சாவதோ பத்தாவது ரேங்க் வந்தால் கூட இங்கே ஸ்டேட் மூலமாக கிடைக்கூட ஃபெலோஷிப் ஸ்காலர்ஷிப் அவங்களுக்கு கிடைக்குதா இல்லையா கிடைக்கல இன்றைக்கும் கொடுக்கறதில்ல they don't give it if incidentally your second language is sanskrit or hindi but you turn out to be the topper and the state has a scheme by which 
the top 10 ranking students will be 10 or 15 or 20, I don't know, but the top ranking students will be given some kind of a, a scholarship to study. Now, in what way and what right does the state have to say one of the Indian language which the student studies, which is not probably Tamil, will not be treated as equal to the student who is learning Tamil? justifiable. the company Tamil Padingan woke with Padu Unne. Ni Unur Basha Padichana par on a Vetipur and Kalapanidwani and the school upon a Yerchipur and Pesar there Nagarika Mila the or Kanmai Tamil Nadu Nagarika Thor Erka Kodi or state in the Arajagamana Basha Varade, Rumba Tapu or Tanima the Manidana Ning and Erther the Tapu are the Yena Kolgan Sonan Sari, Justice Party Lend the Chair. In the driver and model of the part, and joining me now is SG Surya, Tamil Nadu State Spokesperson. Mohan is spokesperson of the Congress, Professor Badri Narayan, historian, author, and Professor Chandan Gauda is a professor as well. We'll be joined by actor Kasturi in just a bit. Mr. Mohan, I'm going to begin with you. By denying scholarship and right to learn, who is really imposing language here? Isn't your alliance partner doing just that? You know, at the outset, I want to strongly object to the FM casting aspersions on the inclusiveness of the education system in Tamil Nadu. We in Tamil Nadu actually are proud pioneers in the fight for equality of opportunity, regardless of caste, creed or religion. And I, had, I don't think the FM has any basis for saying that we're denying people the right to learn a language that they wish to learn. In fact, in the last 10 years, in Tamil Nadu alone, I think the number of CBSE schools, which is the primary school that teaches Hindi, have almost uh, grown by about 10 times. So she where has exactly made a specific is point, essentially saying... Let me finish, let me finish. What the finance minister is saying say. is that you are discriminating against students who are learning Hindi and Sanskrit. Where have, is the discrimination? Have, have Every students state... been denied scholarships and fellowships? I would like to see the data that says students have been denied because they're learning a certain language. The finance minister belongs to the no data available government. And I understand that she doesn't feel compelled to quote any data. But I take strong reservation to this accusation. Secondly, it is every state government's job. And in, in not only... Tamil Nadu and other states as well, the 10th toppers or the 12th toppers in the state boards are given awards. CBSE has its own scholarships and there okay. is a litany of scholarships based okay. on need in Tamil okay. Nadu that does not discriminate based on what respond to learn. this. Now, let, me also, let, me, let, me, let me finish before he responds okay. to that I want to make one more okay. point here okay. because the language that the finance minister used was horrendous frankly she said in Tamil that if you someone was to learn Hindi in Tamil Nadu that they would be killed they would be cut up I'm not even sure where she's getting this from she's living in the past and I don't think you, this even okay, happened SG in the past will I am that. joining this debate hmm. from Salem where over 10,000 people in this tier 2 city Migrated from Gujarat and Maharashtra, they speak in Hindi, they speak in their native tongue as well. They don't feel that children are discriminated against because they're learning Hindi and speaking in Hindi, okay. or they would have left this city a long time ago. Yes, go ahead. As you, Surya. Okay, see, uh, it is very unfortunate that a national party like Congress is towing the line of DMK that is uh, fueling regional and uh, linguistic sentiments. Uh, that apart, I am very surprised that Mr. Kumar Mangalam doesn't know that the state is discriminating between the toppers who choose Tamil as the second language and, in, and Sanskrit or Hindi or German or any other language as a second language. This policy is in place here for so many decades. I am very surprised that he doesn't know about this. Probably he did not study in the state board matriculation medium that he is not aware of this discrimination that is in place. So to begin with, whatever the finance minister has claimed is very true. There is discrimination. If you choose Tamil as a second language, you are eligible for all scholarship, all schemes, etc. But if you choose Hindi, Sanskrit or any other language as your second language, you are not eligible for any of the scholarships or any of the schemes that is given to the top if you score more marks than a student who has chosen to study Tamil in the, as a second language. That apart. Hmm. Whether whether the claim that Mr. Kumar Mangalam says that uh, Hindi teaching schools have increased in Tamil Nadu, yes, we are not denying it. But our only point is 
Even the chief minister's daughter run schools are teaching Hindi. There are so many ministers in the DMK government who run various schools that teach Hindi to the students. Our only demand not now for last 40, 50 years is why doesn't government schools in Tamil Nadu give Hindi as an optional language for the students who prefer to learn Hindi? Hindi is totally banned in all the government schools, yes. but it is taught yes. in all the you schools. Know, Mr. Mohan, the point minister. being made here is don't insult it. one language to promote another. What is wrong in what finance how is, minister how said? Is, how, is, how is insulting how are we actually in Tamil Nadu insulting the Hindi language? Please explain that to me because we have at least got over 2,000 schools where you can learn Hindi. The city of Ahmedabad had one school where you could learn Tamil. That was almost shut down. Their alliance partner, uh, Mr. Edipati Parasami, when he was chief minister in the ADMK government, actually made an appeal to the chief minister of Gujarat to actually keep it open and said that the Tamil Nadu government would fund that school. So where are we actually shutting down schools that are teaching Hindi or preventing people from learning the language? I'd like to see the same recipe reciprocity from other states, but I don't find that to be the case. In tw By 2021, the Uttar Pradesh government converted about 15,000 of their schools to English. Did Tamil in any of their schools? Why is it that Tamil Nadu and the Tamil education system is the only one pointed fingers at when it comes to learning another no, language? Because you, raised, Indian you origin bring up this debate believe, because it's a convenient right, debate to, to you know attack the center and that is what we are seeing repeatedly. A number of states How do it, but Tamil, but, but Tamil Nadu okay, like, and DMK I'll, I'll in particular does it there. a lot more. And now that you have taken a stand for your uh, partner, alliance partner, and rightly so, I would say, uh, let me move on to other guests. Professor Chandan no, Gorda, Hindi yeah. speakers continue to increase year on year in the South. Is this aspect of Dravidian politics becoming outdated, and outdated then in the 21st century? Actually, uh, Maria, um, it's actually the, the, the government and uh, the, the center in Delhi must really uh, evolve uh, the quality of listening uh, because each time we have a Hindi Divas being celebrated, there's pushback. And like you rightly said, it's very loud and amplified from the South, but it's not restricted to the South. Bengal joins in, parts of the North all join in. And there are many, many voices that are, you know, from languages, even in the Hindi belt that join in, but we don't hear them clearly now. Uh, the point is, in 1949, there must have been a need felt to have something called Hindi Divas. But some years down the line, we have seen enough criticism for us to really rethink the thing. And it must really be a celebration of all Indian languages. Uh, but I can't comment to the Tamil Nadu situation. I don't know the details very clearly about scholarships, etc. Uh, but the, to, to stick to your question, why is the South the best? Because I think uh, the feeling of being insulted, you know, what Nirmala Sitaraman didn't want to happen to Hindi, what the South happening to them each time is a push for Hindi. No, but but what and, I'll just tell you what the finance minister said, and I, and uh, we have just played that sound by she's saying yes, what I I'm saying that, is yes. the truth. My experience reveals this because she was studying in Tamil Nadu, and then she goes on to say, even today, a student who is learning Hindi and Sanskrit, if they come as toppers, they do they get scholarships or fellowships? Then she says, no, they don't. Is this not discrimination? <laughs> Professor Badri Narayan, when we look, look at this entire Hindi uh, you know, imposition debate, Prime Minister Narendra Modi has called Tamil culture eternal and global, even talking about its importance at the UN. Then how is this Hindi hegemony alarm? Is this not misplaced? Maria, uh, Narendra Modi is constantly trying to uh, to uh, to give a message that Tamil culture is very important for the making of India, for understanding the India and the meaning of India. And he is also recently he said it's the mother of democracy. You no, know, mother of democracy. While defining mother of democracy, he he discussed about Tamil culture and Tamil identity, so and Tamil history, Tamil archaeology. So, uh, so BJP in the under the leadership of Narendra Modi is constantly trying to give respect to to the identity of the Tamil and other uh, other, other identities in the south. Hmm. But what is happening? What Nirmala Sitaraman is saying, it uh, said it is based on her own experience. So experience, and and and, and see the right person to tell about her experience. We, 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 we had not uh, studied in the Tamil Nadu, so I can't say what's happening there. But you know. Uh, Tamil South is changing due to the migration, yes. Hindi language, 
yes. Hindi experience, Hindi language is is expanding in the uh, Tamil Nadu also, in other other states of South also. You you go in Bangalore, uh, you go in any uh, any part of Hyderabad, you go in Chennai. Chennai is cosmopolitan in that way. Hmm. So these these changes in the society may certainly bring the change in the in the Dravidian politics. And if any party hmm. who is cons- pursuing conventional line is old line i think they will have to change their line okay. line kasturi is is, Maria, is also I would like to say now. something oh, uh, can i just jump in you know, ca- yeah uh, uh, okay uh, english yes english has a, has become a global language it's spreading everywhere including yes. in most parts of europe hmm. but that doesn't mean the european union has stopped uh, recognizing 24 of its languages. No, but who's stopping the in recognition of other languages? In fact, no, no, other languages Ma- Maria, continue I mean to is, be valued. No, no, Maria, what, it mean, what I mean is, hmm. within the EU parliamentary discussion, hmm. 24 language interpreters are there interpreting all languages simultaneously. And all EU proceedings are available in 24 European languages. That's the model India needs to follow. Yes. Here, Kasturi, the point being made by Finance Minister in that interview to me yesterday was that why deny individuals their right to learn what they want? It's not about ideology, but a totally different idea here. It's one thing to believe in an ideology, but totally different then to deny individuals their right to learn what they want. And that is what is happening here. Okay. Uh, uh, first off, um, I agree with just one overriding um, uh, concept, and that is, Respect all languages yes. and respect all Indian languages equally. Yes. Um, let us not prioritize one over the other. I do feel that the Hindi, the perceived discouragement of Hindi that uh, Ms. Sitaraman has spoken about is not, uh, it's not initiated, it's reactionary. If Tamil Nadu doesn't prioritize Tamil, if Telangana doesn't prioritize Telugu, if the regional states do not prioritize their regional languages, um, who else will? You, nobody is asking a Hindi-speaking state to prioritize a South Indian language. In the same vein, don't ask Hindi to be prioritized in a South Indian state. That said, I went to a state board school. I'm a product of state board education. I was a Tamil maniac. I wanted to learn Tamil from the get-go. My parents did not let me. This is in my generation. Because Tamil padne se mark nai milta. And this is in the state board syllabus. Uh, my parents said, you learn Hindi. Because Hindi, they are liberal and uh, you can get good scores. And I was like, no, I want to do Tamil. So in the end, I ended up doing Tamil on my own. I ended up attending all the Tamil competitions on my own. My Tamil teachers um, relied on me more than the actual students. I learned Hindi till sixth grade. I learned Sanskrit from sixth to twelfth, and I did Sanskrit in college as well. Hmm. I none of these okay. institutions that I attended was center board. They were all state board syllabus, and I I was a good student. I got every scholarship that was available to a student that was over the poverty okay. line okay. every scholarship okay. let, let me so let me let me bring in sg surya on this SG no, no, let me finish maria let me finish my point my point is hmm. i think i don't know what miss sita raman's experience had been in her times but i think she is way off the mark when she says People are being discriminated against for learning a language of their choice. Okay, as you respond. Every yes. state board and government school in Tamil Nadu has Hindi and has Hindi teachers. What we don't see is a South Indian language teacher in North Indian government schools. Who is being discriminated against? SG Surya. See, we are talking only about the privileged students who can afford private education. I'm no, talking no, not about private, sir. No, I was no, not. I, one second. I'm a scholarship student. I'm a middle class no, no, student. No, no, no. I'm I talk- studied on no, scholarship. No, 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 no. See, the 60 percent student strength in Tamil Nadu today study in government schools and not even one government school gives you an option of learning Hindi. That is our problem. That apart, this is not you true. have one, all state one, board government schools have Hindi. They no, have no, a no, Hindi option from sixth grade. No, okay. no, no, they don't have. 
no no they don't have and additionally navodya schools you know it is present in all the states in india except tamil nadu you know how cheap the education is how beneficial it is for the underprivileged and the discriminated communities but tamil nadu government is not allowing the navodya schools to be established in the state which is really puzzling central government is giving crores of funds every year to the navodya schools in different states and they do not allow navodya schools to be started in the state because it teaches hindi Yes, and additional languages. So, see the discrimination. Who is losing here? So, this kind of discrimination is there. It is Gaya there, Lisa and I am glad. I am glad. I am very glad. I am very glad that. No, no. I am very glad that finance minister has opened this Pandora box. I think we should discuss and debate whether you should have Hindi as an optional language in government schools. Whether you should have Tamil schools. That's already an option. Whether Tamil schools are needed in Tamil Nadu. Maybe that time, madam. Today, none of the government school teaches Hindi. There is not even a single Hindi teacher in any of the government schools. You might have had it in the aided school. I am talking about the unaided government schools. Not a single Hindi teacher. No, I think finance minister has opened a Pandora box. I, I think, think you are not discuss... aware of government school options. No, no. There is a no, no, no. Hindi. You are not. There... Please go back school. and check. No, no, I am telling in you fact, with authority. Tamil Nadu is the only state that I know of that does not no, say madam. Tamil is compulsary, except for subsidized. No, no, it has become school. compulsary. It has in all the private schools, today. you can. Okay, okay let me let me let me bring in Mohan. Mohan, Mohan, Mohan wanted to make a point. It yes. has become I compulsory now. See, Mohan? I just wanted to thank Surya for pointing out the obvious that if Hindi is not taught in any government schools, and so therefore Hindi is not being taken by any board students who have topped in the state board, then I'm not sure that how a Hindi student is being discriminated against because there are no Hindi students according to him in the. I think you don't schools, understand anything, state board. Mr. Kumar. I'm very sorry. Let, let me finish. Let me finish. Are, state toppers let me are not finish. I heard you now. Schools. Let you do not me have finish. a basic understanding of how schools let function me, in Tamil Nadu. You can go ahead and finish. Let me finish. Listen to let me. me just finish. listen to me, please. I, I, I spent the last toppers, five minutes listening to you babble. You might as well take the no, chance no, no, to let me finish what I have to say. State toppers are not from government. Why schools? don't you state finish? State toppers are from government, private, uh, from everybody, from everybody. And you know, most of okay. the time, now let me get to the second point. Stop. Okay, so the second point, when Surya started off talking, he said that he feels that I'm towing the DMK's line and I'm being parochial. I want to ask him that today in the Karnataka Assembly, there is a Kannada language comprehensive development bill being tabled that proposes that industrial establishments don't give that don't give first priority to Kannadigas in jobs will not be eligible for rebates, tax exemptions. Is this what a national party is about? You are going to only give those industries incentives and tax rebates who employ only Karnatikas. So, do I need a visa to go to Karnataka now? What are you talking about parochialism? You are running the most parochial government in a neighboring state. Okay, I have just enough time for a final word. I'd love to have you respond to that. Yes. Will you respond no, to no, that, no. S. G. Surya? Uh, of course, of hmm. course, I will respond. Hmm. See, the entire anti-Hindi agitations that happened six, in sixties was I'm not against the very same Congress party. I'm no, talking about, about what you're doing in Karnataka. The, the Kannada no, 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 no. No, no, no. Let me respond. Let me respond, please. You respond we to that absolutely... question. Don't go back into history like your finance minister did and make up stories. No, no, it's not stories. The entire anti-Hindi agitation was against your own government to begin with. Secondly, we do not have objections to any I, of I the really regional agree. aspirations. No, no, let me respond. See, we do not have any objections to any of the regional aspirations being met. I'm just asking you, hmm. when you give when you give Hindi to private school students, when your own minister's school Again, you're not responding Hindi, to my question. Listen, listen to me. Is, you need to listen I to me. You to when your own chief minister's daughter... Okay, I have just enough time for, 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 for getting the final yes, words now from, I would like from, from Professor Badri own... Narayan. Professor Badri Narayan, this is almost like an endless and a needless debate, one would say, which began, uh, you know, because of ambiguity on this eighth schedule. And also because since the constitution came into force, this has been going on. A debate over national language and what is being seen as a link language, the third language, whatever you may say. But the point here is, the point that was made by finance minister yesterday was that it is about choice and the right to learn. Why should that right to learn be denied? I think uh, uh, very, very right. And, and this is the issue raised by the finance minister, that right to choice of learning. 
and in which uh, medium or which language i want to learn it's my choice and that choice should be respected by the state either this is the state in the tamil nadu or a state in the any part of india or in the even national states absolutely uh, nation, yeah it should be it should be respected because language and you know india is a multilingual country and and multi multilinguality is our power monolingual kills us monolingual kills our wisdom okay. and multilingual okay. kills us our our all right thank you strength. so much for joining us kasturi so, professor badri narayan professor uh, chandan gowda mr mohan and sg surya we are slipping into a short break after that the congress leadership crisis has escalated with the desert storm in rajasthan stay tuned to news epicenter i'll get you some breaking news coming in shortly